Right, I finished my work for the day. It is time for Eldritch and Brandy. This is Eldritch. It's a first-person, I guess, randomly generated horror game, you could say. Um, and I played the first, like, chapter of it, I guess, uh, yesterday. And so I'm now back in the library where we started, and I can use these books to teleport to different places. Although that's the exact same one I used last time, and the other ones are closed, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But I do remember there's these pedestals over here, and when I looked at the pedestals they said I could insert a spherical object, and I found one of those. I found a soul of Dagon, but now it's not... I guess maybe I can't put it there? Oh no, I can only put it on this one. Soul of Dagon. <laughs> I could also just pick it back up. <laughs> okay, so it's only just on that one. I might try going through here if it's going to let me. It's not. I guess you put three souls on there and then the door opens. Just weird that it marks it as the exit. I suppose that's telling me that's my long-term objective, maybe. So I don't really want to use that book again, because that's the one I used last time. Um, I probably will try using that one. But first, let's eat some meat. Baked meat. That's the noise I make when I eat a massive ham by cramming it into my face. And over here... Hey look, there's a ladder. I couldn't get to this before, but now I've got magic barrier power. And with barrier power I can reach the ladder. Kind of. Yes. Now up in the stacks. Sweet, there are trees going in this library. Maybe this is randomly generated too. Uh, let's go. go on there. Artifacts are not very rare. <laughs> I will hang on to some though, because I've got that I've got a perk now that lets me eat corpses for twenty artifacts. And I'm fine for health for the moment, but later on that could be cool. This place is huge. If I was so inclined, I could be reading all these books, <laughs> but I'm not. Let's just get to that. The magic books. Show me to the magic books. <laughs> Oops. You play a lady in this game. Um, I don't know if that was obvious from the title screen. But it should be obvious from that uh, girly yelp <laughs> she let out when I fell. Let's see if I can use this one. Nope. And I'm guessing probably not this one as well. Ooh. I've unlocked the book. Oh. Okay. So it stays closed, but then if you read it, it opens. Let's go to the red place. Ooh. This is very different. So, things to remember this time. I've got a map. And it's telling me there's some treasure in this direction. Or is that an exit? It wouldn't label the exit, I don't think. I'm going to sneak, because we're in a new world and we don't know how dangerous it's going to be. But I should turn left any time I can. Ooh, that thing looks interesting. It looks like a statue that's going to come to life. Um, uh... What?! Those things are not as dangerous in the last world. <laughs> Do you think this is just a decorative rug, or do these symbols mean something? Uh, this thing's quite scary. Maybe it actually is a statue. No, that's coming to life. Come on, I've played video games before. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Shit! Holy fuck! I think it can only move when I'm not looking at it. I think it's a weeping angel. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> but I want to look over there as well. Oh, God. Oh, shit, it really fucked me up as well. It really fucked me up. How can I... I can't look at it forever. This can't be the rest of my life. Maybe once I'm over this barrier, it won't be able to get to me. Nope. It just instantly killed me. Jesus fucking Christ! What the fuck? I don't, so once you see one of those, I guess that's the end of your life. <laughs> you can never get out of that situation. Okay, don't really care about most of the stuff. Ah, oh, you lose your health. Um, your max health. My max health was five, and now it's only three. Fucking hell, yeah. So it's, it's not permadeath, but it's a very harsh death penalty. I'm basically fucked now. I guess I should go back to the first world quickly and pick up some loot. Because there's plentiful loot over there. Oh, yeah, and a compass, for one thing. Wow, the levels really are different when they when they regenerate. I don't even have the power either. My god, I really lost a lot of shit. 
Uh, I'll actually explore the top floor because I think that's more likely to have loot without any penalty. I'm assuming this is what you're kind of supposed to do is like go back to easier worlds to stock up. There's a fountain, brilliant. Increase my max health. Could get a bit boring though, couldn't it? Having to sort of replay level one every time you die to just to get, earn some stuff back. Um, I can't take that with me, can I? This is a very generous level one. Maybe that's why level one is so easy, is because they want it to be like a restock point. I don't want to just re-explore level 1. It actually would be quite fun because it's all different, but for now I'll try and see if I can get any further in level 2, or world 2. Book 2, I guess. There's a strains of Diablo in the music, isn't there? What the fuck is that? The, <laughs> the horror element of this really... Oh god, it comes back. It just comes back. Oh god! Is this just going forever? Is this a world where just nothing dies ever? The gasping noises are fucking horrible. I think I've just gotta hide. Commenters pointed out to me that, um. <laughs> that um, you can pick up guns even if you already have a gun and it gives you ammo which is a useful tip, thank you I did actually notice that happening once and then I forgot it happened so I think stealth is the name of the game <laughs> I hate everything about this place <laughs> hey, an easy enemy oh god Terrifying seeing eye. Ah! Do you think the jig is up? Do you think the scary thing is going to come to me? The uh, hovering eyeball that fires fireballs is not the scary thing, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait, was that a. Uh... No, it's a bear tree. No fruit. It's funny how radically different it is on um, in this world because suddenly it's all about creeping around and avoiding things whereas in all of the levels of the previous world it was just like everything dies in one hit nothing can really hurt you that much except to shock off and there's only seemed to be one of those <laughs> oh god has he seen me I don't want him to see me God, his breathing sounds really close. Oh, fuck. No, I think his, his movement is too aimless as he hasn't seen me. Can he really just be completely indestructible? I think I heard somewhere that Shoggoths are not indestructible. You can kill them with conventional means, but it takes a long time. So I can see where the exit is, but <laughs> how much do I really want to get to the harder version of this? Which is what I imagine level 2 will be. This is a move you can't do in real life. Oh god, it's one of those things. I guess you sort of like, you kill them to lose them? Oh fuck. Look at his horrible face. I stab you. Oh fuck, here he comes, here he comes. Oh shit. Okay. Well that thing's the most potentially killable thing I've seen. <laughs> Other than the cultists. Christ. I 
let's head roughly in the direction of the exit. Stop breathing on me, you weirdos. That's my battle cry. <laughs> and I charge in with my gun and dynamite. Stop breathing on me, you weirdos! There is dynamite there. Ooh, and a fountain. So I should... Ooh, and a fucking altar. Ooh, no, that's a different one. Hypnotize! Oh, yes. Seven mana to hypnotize. That sounds like a fucking bargain. I want to hypnotize one of the, um... Maybe the teleporty things? Or... I mean, the invincible things probably aren't that good, except for being invincible. And being invincible is not an advantage if they're going to die after a short period of time. If they're going to switch back to their original side, I mean. I think I should pick up this dynamite and throw it at that wall. I'm going to try and avoid blowing up the altar, because that just seems like a bad thing to do to a, a dark god. Oh, I don't have a knife. It's funny how like sinister it is in some ways, and then sort of like, childlike it is in others. <laughs> uh, I think I blew up my knife, didn't I? The dynamite destroyed my knife. I go down there though, and there's more dynamite down there. I'm guessing there's lots of bottles lying around, and I haven't done anything with them previously. But I'm guessing that... Oh god, oh that's an eye. I'm guessing they're good for distracting those things you're trying to hide from. There's two fountains. I want both the fountains. He's gonna see me, isn't he? He already has. Those are all three of my bullets. <laughs> they all hit, but I'm now in a certain amount of trouble. This one isn't bubbling, it looks like it's been used. I think. Did he sort of see me or completely see me? He completely saw me. He completely saw me. Serpentine, serpentine! <laughs> Oh shit! I threw my gun at him! No! <laughs> that was the worst thing to do! Oh fucking shit! Everything's respawned! Oh god! Oh god! Can't get me up here! No enemy can climb ladders! It's a fact of life! Shall I try and hypnotize the lizard man? I could, but he's not seeing any other enemies now. Maybe if I sneak down. What? Oh god! Vlog oh! <laughs> Fuck you! Get out of my way, sir! Oh fuck. Oh god. Okay, that's a lizard man, that's not the scary thing. I mean, it's the only slightly scary thing. Oh shit. I'm going to try hypnotizing him. <laughs> ah, that worked. Oh god, there's two of them, is there? No. He just moved really fast. Oh, so that's good to know. It lasts like four seconds or something. Mm, I've got nothing now, have I? I mean, I can still hypnotize, but... <laughs> Stealth master! <laughs> I wanted to clear them away to see if it was all spikes down there or if there's anything worth going after. It looks like it's all spikes all the time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Mantling in this game is really good. It's actually reliable. Ah, knife! I can stab things again, which is most of what I wanted to do anyway. And then I should try and, I guess, get through... I don't have that barrier creating power anymore, so I can't climb over these things. Oh, there's a gun. Not that I have any bullets. <laughs> right. Let's just go down here. We'll be safe and fine. What is that thing that has a shadow? Things that have a shadow are usually enemies. No, it's a knife. And there's dynamite here. Which means... So the exit's in that direction. I should just throw the dynamite at that. 
But I should drop my knife. Oh, there's a dagger there anyway. Drop my knife there. Pick this up. Over there. Run away. Oh, is there any food in here? No. Oh no, it didn't get me anywhere. It just got me through to the stars somehow. Ah, oh, it's really close though. I've either got to navigate to the exit or I've got to navigate to some dynamite. Eek. I think I can sneak up on a giant eye. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Stealth achievement. <laughs> oh look, you can uh, break through these things. That makes a really loud noise. I don't need to go over here exactly, oh fuck, and I'm not going to. Let's just sneak around here some more. Oh god, horrible things. Rocks and artifacts this way. So it looks like I can... oh god. That was a noise. Huh. He made a noise that made him sound suspicious, but then he moved in the opposite direction. Maybe he's suspicious of someone else. Oh, that's a corpse. I'll loot those guys because I don't mind if they resurrect. Ooh, dynamite. I might take that. I have zero bullets, so I think I'd leave the gun behind. There's a guitar chord in the music now, I don't know if that means I've been seen. Oh, there's some meat, it's probably rancid though. Oh god. Is that, does he really see me? Get me through you fucker! Does he know, does he know? Now he's going to the blast, brilliant! I'm gonna have this chair so I can, oh god, so I can hide. Oh, fuck. I can't lean out or see anything at all. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Oh! Oh, oh, no, maybe... Ah, oh, shit. If I had my other tools, I could... If I had my other spell, I could get up there. You can't move a chair, can you? No. Can I... So I can pick up bottles. <laughs> Bear with me here. And I can drop bottles. Can I stack bottles? I, look, I'm not saying it'd work in real life. I'm just saying maybe there's a game mechanic here that no, I think they don't they don't collide with each other. Okay, I have no gun, and that didn't that did help, but it wasn't uh, the help I was looking for. I think I'll just try and navigate using the map because. The map seems to show where barriers are, and it seems to suggest there's a way for me to go around. Although actually I'm more interested in this ladder now. Alright, that's going back up to there. Makes sense. I might as well take this rock while I've got nothing else in my hand. Oh god. I'm not even in sneak mode. Yes, go and investigate. Isn't that interesting? Oh god. Oh god. It backfired! It backfired! I think I have to go this way, don't I? Oh shit, he's climbing over the barrier. I can take him, but I don't want to risk tangling with the other thing. Nope, 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 incorrect. You didn't see anything! Shut up! He didn't do any damage to me. So the way it wants me to go is this way, but... I don't see it. Which means... I need to fucking run! This is the worst possible place to be, because I know this is a dead end already. 
I'm just hoping I ran fast enough that I lost him. Seems like I did. I suppose I could lure him onto the spikes. I'm actually going to try that. <laughs> yes! And now when he gets up... Oh, he does make some progress, so I better leave. <laughs> Probably shouldn't keep looting those guys, because they keep coming back. Um... This map is not helpful. <laughs> uh, it shows me which direction to go, but there's just no way to do it. It's just all blank walls. I tried blowing through. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't like this. I don't think I have a way of getting out of this. Unless he just doesn't see me. I need to go up, don't I? Either here or maybe In here makes sense. I'm actually really sad that trapping him on the spikes didn't permanently take care of him. I think that would have been a really cool solution. <laughs> Very well. I have met my match. Oh, there's a fountain here, so I definitely haven't been this way. And nothing else. No other form of any kind of... Ah, fuck. Oh, piss. Has he seen me? I charmed him. Probably should have just stabbed him. So when I was on the same floor as the exit, it marked the exit for me on my map. I'm wondering, is that just because I had the compass, or does that do that for everyone? So if it does it for everyone, then actually taking the amulet of destruction instead of the compass is actually viable. This is all unexplored, so this is probably a good way to go. I don't know what determines when those things chase you and when they don't. Like, I'm not looking at it now and it hasn't killed me. Maybe that little, like, crunch noise is the only warning you get. But then what do you do about them? What if you never look at them? <laughs> well, it might have worked. That has a label. I think it might be a shop. Oh, and there's dynamite there. So I could use dynamite to blow through that exit again. But <laughs> there's a lizard in a top hat. <laughs> in a bowler hat, sorry. Jump boots. Ooh, now you're talking. Boots that you jump higher. Only 20 thingies. That seems very good. Destruction amulet could be super useful. What does Lucky Charm do? This equipped, you'll find more loot on corpses. Now that sounds terrible. Because you have to give up your compass for that, and that's just nuts. Ooh, crossbow! Or oh, tripwire gun. Fires around that embeds a tripwire on any surface. Probably includes three bullets. Do you think it costs normal bullets? Because bullets are one of my kind of core resources, it seems like, so maybe all guns take the same am ammunition. A lizard man regards you indifferently. All are welcome here, stranger. You won't find any better prices on such quality goods. Was this in Lovecraft? <laughs> I haven't... I'm not totally conversant in his work, but I... It seems kind of tonally inconsistent. A locksmith kit. Oh, that's just going to be for picking locks, right? Yeah... Oh, you can put locks on doors. Ooh, that's a nice idea. 
but 75, that's crazy. Um, I definitely want jump boots. Can I afford the destruction amulet as well? No. But I'm not far off it. So the destruction amulet would let me shoot holes in the thing. Oh, only if I had bullets, and I don't have any bullets. Jump boots it is. I'm guessing it's one square higher. I can't really tell though. If I get enough money for the destruction amulet, I'll come back and try it. Can I jump this now? Yes. I have dynamite anyway. Right. Didn't think that through. So the levels have this very strict, like, grid arrangement. Oh, fuck, really? Oh, fuck. If they don't see me, though, surely I'm fine. Stealth has to work. It has to work. So what I'm going to do is sit down here. And then just get off this fucking floor. Oh, shit, that one's going to see me. I don't actually care about that thing seeing me. Hey, that's the exit. Those fucking statues, man. It's all fine. Okay, so I can leave now. But let's just quickly check out a locked door. Vile of artifacts, rotten meat. I think um, the way rotten meat works, it doesn't like. I thought it healed you, but also poisoned you. But I think it's a chance of one or the other. So let's... Sorry. Hey, it healed me. And then there's something over there, too. I think it's just a rock and a knife. But I'll investigate. It's a rock and a revolver, which actually I do sort of want. But not as much as the... Dynamite. I'll keep the dynamite. Hopefully I can come back up to this floor if I need to. So if I don't find a revolver soon... Or if I use the dynamite before I find a revolver, I can do that. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> this is starting to play on my nerves. I think I would use this dynamite to get down to the bottom as quickly as possible. That looks like a tripwire. I don't want to go that way if I can avoid it. Spikes in one direction and statues in the other. Sorry for that beep, that's an alarm thing, I said. Really noisy. <laughs> Don't have any bullets, so if this thing attacks me, I'm actually in a certain amount of trouble. I'd love to get the jump on it somehow, I can't! <laughs> uh, not in too much trouble. The map indicates there's something interesting there. So I should drop down, I guess. Unless. Yeah, no, this counts as still being the same floor. Mm, that destruction amulet would actually be pretty cool. I do have enough for it now, but I don't know if it's worth going all the way back to the shop for it. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Unless I wanted to dynamite through. Would that be worth it? Why don't I dynamite through to this thing that has a, like, it looks like a clipboard, but it's probably not. <laughs> There's no point in being too precious about dynamite. That's what my grandma used to say. It seems like the exit's pretty close, so it was on the floor. I'm intrigued by this. Oh, this is like a little secret passage. Is that? That's the Emirate of Destruction. What? What are the chances? I'm going to take the risk of the rotten meat again. Worked again. This is brilliant. I'm going to keep eating rotten meat forever. There's no drawback. Okay, so this is a perfect time to test. The exit is marked on my map at the moment, and I have the compass. Yeah, as soon as I take the comp, as soon as I drop the compass, I no longer have it. So, since I don't even have a gun, <laughs> much less any bullets, I think it doesn't make sense to take the destruction amulet yet. 
I'll stick with the compass. Knowing where I'm going is fairly important right now. Even once, even if the exit is always on the ground floor, um, still once you're there, it's very helpful to know which direction it's in. There's a statue over here, but every statue in the last world had the same spell, and I've already got a spell from this world, so maybe it'll be the same spell again. I quite like the spell. But obviously there's no advantage in re-earning it. Dynamite. I should be able to tell once I see the sparkles whether it's the same spell. But I can't see any sparkles yet. No, that's different. Teleport power! <gasps> Throw a beacon and teleport to it! Fuck yes! Uh, so you press right mouse to throw a beacon, right mouse again to get it. Right mouse hold to retrieve the beacon. And then release to throw it again. Hmm. Yep, that sounds fucking great. Did I get it? Yeah. Maybe knife and dynamite is my thing. Guns don't seem to be... I mean, they're still good, but... Um, let's try this out. Whoa, I can teleport a long way with this. Bullet. I like that the ways of getting between floors are quite unconventional. And like weird pillars of rock and stuff. Oh, fucking shit. Get me out of here. I think, yeah, they can climb one meter things. One meter blocks. But they're not too smart. Good to know. I actually saw the exit, didn't I? <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard to get back to it. <laughs> I don't like those noises. Ah, oh, there's the fucking statues. I'm guessing dynamite would destroy a statue, right? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Statue's not looking my way, right? So statue's not looking my way. And if I could teleport over there, I would avoid it. Holy shit, I think this is gonna work. Although it's a bit risky in general. Oh god, he hissed. Fucking hell, this spell's really good. <laughs> I'm glad I went for that temple. Uh, statue. What do you call it? Idol? I hope this is the last level of this world. I feel like it should be. Oh no! That's the first locked door I opened that wasn't actually great. Although, what is this? I think that's too high to mantle, isn't it? Even with my jumping boots. Oh wait, I could teleport. <laughs> that spell I just earned. Holy shit, this is brilliant. I mean, no, it didn't get me anywhere good, but... Oh, fuck. Really? I don't... I don't know if those things are defeatable. I think they might just be the end of your life the second you see them. Have I gone to the worst place in the world? <laughs> I want to go down, don't I? Those um, those have got to be tripwires, haven't they? Now that I know there's a tripwire gun, it seems all the more likely. Um. Sneak up on this fucker. Oops. Um. I'm kind of hoping for more bullets, because then it might be worth getting the gun back. I've really got the wrong impression of this game from the first level, or well, the first series of levels, the first like four levels I think it was. 
It really felt like a sort of straightforward action game about shooting people. And stealth was a thing you could do, and it gave you extra damage, but it was kind of very optional. But actually, it's a really horrible, terrifying horror game. There's something shooting fireballs at me while I'm talking about it. That's <laughs> very rude. I think he's lost interest. Fucking hell. Alright, the exit is there. If I can, I'd love to just throw some dynamite down there. Go away, go away. I'm crouching, yeah. I think even though I don't move from my position when they, they last saw me, I think they eventually lose track. Didn't get me anywhere. God. If he comes close enough, I'll stab him. But if he goes away, I'm happy to let it lie. He walked through the spikes. Shouldn't that kill him? So I want to double back when I possibly can. Killing things is well worth it for me because, um, oh sorry, looting bodies after I've killed them is well worth it for me because the artifacts I get are now super important because they charge my teleport spell. My teleport spell just solves every problem. Oh, holy shit! Holy fucking shit, seriously? Okay, can I teleport over all of this? Yup! <laughs> I'll take the soul, please! <laughs> You take the strange red orb. It hums and trembles as Nyarlathotep wakes. A wave of terror rushes over you. You can now unlock the next book in the library. I'm going to take another stab at that. Nyarlathotep. Nyarlathotep. That was fucking brilliant. Teleport spell is the best thing in the universe. I'm never using any other spell of any kind, and this is fucking awesome. I'm not going to go take any risks here, because I bet those statues can teleport through walls. I mean, through the, like, gates. Holy shit, that was awesome. Um, please come back tomorrow for, or maybe tomorrow, for more, because I'm definitely going to play more of this. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching.